hey guys welcome to my channel i hope y'all are having a wonderful day wonderful friday it is super hot uh, i think i'm gonna take a dip in the pool just to cool off i wanted to talk with you all today about um it's a video i did earlier this morning but for some reason the sound was really terrible so i had to do it again and i'm out and about and while i'm stationary i just want to talk with you guys about this <laughs> guys we're in a time where there's so much that's happening so much that's going on it can be very discouraging as a believer i know for myself at times i just find myself being just kind of tired there are times that i think about you know i know i've always wanted to move and to a certain area or a certain country and that has just been in my head big time like just escape get out of here <laughs> you know just oh my goodness sometimes I just get weary we probably all experienced that and I sense as believers as I'm talking to certain people it's like we are all experiencing this feeling and then when you look around and see all that's going on in the world it does not help and when you look around and you're looking at those who you think you should be able to go to those in the body of Christ you're just like this is even worse so you want to run off sometimes you want to isolate I know that I have felt that way and honestly isolating feels really good just shutting off the world just not paying attention it does feel good but it can also be dangerous okay because what's happening is you're desensitized you're not aware of what's going on and even as a body of christ yes there are times we have to come away from but we have to make sure that we're not escaping there's a time and a season for everything under the sun. So there's going to be a time that God pulls us away. There's a time we need to be silent. Uh, more often than not, I feel like we are in that phase because of what's going on in the world. But we have to make sure that we are just not escaping and then we're defaulting to our little pod with God. And he's like, hey, you need to go out. You need to go out into the world. You still have things to do. You still need to be aware of what's going on, even if you are in the posture of prayer. And so I found myself struggling with these things sometimes as we look around. And I notice if we're looking around, we're going to sink. I feel that way when I pay attention to what's going on and I'm listening to the debates and I'm looking at what's going on with the government and I'm looking at what's going on in society and I look at what's going on in, with the community and then I look at what's going on with black people and then I look at what's going on with white people and I'm just looking at what's going on with the war. You're just like, oh my gosh, then you go peek in and see what's going on in the church and they still bumping and grinding and doing the electric slide in the smoky churches and you're just like, I don't know right so then you begin to just feel like what is the point but this is when we have to stay tuned we need to stay connected with God because we were warned about this the Lord spoke about this in Matthew talk about in the latter days what's going to happen we've been warned about this behavior in Romans chapter 1 we've been warned about the rude children that's not going to have any respect for their parents or society they're going to be evil they're going to be mean their teeth will be like swords and teeth like iron jaws of iron we've been warned about that but sometimes for us we'll read and be like oh that's so mm, oh oh wow that was a good read but then when what's happening guys we have all experienced this right when the lord gave the example of the seed falling all over right so we get the word and we read the bible and as long as we're comfortable and we're sipping on some juice we're good in the ac and the word is oh yes this is a good word oh this is a good prophecy i remember but then when it's time to when things start to happen and what i've been guilty of this allowing the cares of the world to pluck that seed away and then i'm like oh look at what's going on ah look what's, what's happening here but we have to realize that god is still in control but we have a duty guys we have a responsibility to make sure that we are praying and that we are praying for our nation that we are praying that god's decision will be made i want you all to forget what party what what your political your political stances who you like who you don't like 
who's a fraud versus who's not who's doing this who's doing that i want you to forget about all those things forget about what your cultural beliefs are and your norms are and what group of people you like and prefer versus the ones you don't we have all been guilty of something of that nature and we have to realize we have to get into the posture of prayer and say god let your will be done for our nation let your will be done for our community let your will be done in my child's life or in my family's life or in my life help me to be in a position oh god of readiness and not that i become stagnant and bitter right because what can happen a fly can do what a fly can now uh, make the ointment stink So what we're bringing to the world turns out to be uh, the things that we're bringing to the world is chaos and our feelings and our nonsense. We have to be careful with that. Okay. And then we have to have that balance to know when we speak, when we don't, when we hold fire, when we've got to bring it. Okay, because sometimes as believers, we're going to be on one extreme. We're just going at people so much that we're killing them off or we're being so, you know, candy cane and molasses that we are putting people in a place where they're not learning and they feel entitled and they're just victims and we are coddling and so a person will lose their soul. And what we have to understand too as believers is that it's not our job to decide about the where someone's soul is and where they're going to go. We are not the we're not the police. We're not we are not the popos. So when we are given a job or a duty to carry out, we are simply here to share the gospel, okay? And you allow the Holy Spirit to do the rest. We can't get into the weeds. We put the the seed in the ground. Like if you're gardening, you put that seed in the ground and then you want to dig it up to see what's going on and open up and try to hurry it up. And no. The fate of mankind is in their own hands and in their decision. You just bring the word as you should. Okay. And at times, most importantly, because everybody we have a lot of religious chatterboxes. We have a lot of Christian chatty patties that like to do a lot of talking more so than they're living. And the way that people would draw to you is not always going around saying, asking them, if you die today, would you be in heaven? It's not always that, guys. That's just off-putting to some people. It's your life. It's the example. It's the way you lead. It's the way you you do the things that you're supposed to do turn your music down in the neighborhoods don't speed over the speed bump how you act in the line when you're shopping all those things are going to be the examples right and none of us is perfect sometimes we have failed to hit the mark i know i have done that there are times i don't want to be good i don't want to act right okay i'm not cussing people out but i'm sometimes i don't want to hold my peace i want to tell you something okay (laughs) no i don't want to walk away god i want to let them know right now and so that is the biggest challenge it's it's walking in in the fullness and not just with a big t-shirt on and a huge bible highlighted and having that look you know that look that religious people have is this look i can't stand it now talk about that i have a video that i'm going to do touching on that but just the the wooden faces, the wooden expression, the wild beady eyes that's, oh, we love you, we love you. <laughs> yeah, until I make you mad. <laughs> then it's like, oh my goodness. You know, they flare up like some dandelions or get crazy. So there's just so much that we face. But right now, the world is ablaze. The world is ablaze. And we have to be praying, guys. We got to be in our prayer closets. We have to be praying. You don't need someone to call a corporate fast or call a fast to say, let's fast. That's good, too. I've done a few of those. We've done a few on this channel. But what I'm saying is, this is a time to be 
calling out to God because where two or three are gathering, the Lord is in the midst, right? So if you're praying over there in Hawaii and as someone is praying over here in, in Germany and another person is play, praying over in Asia, God is hearing our prayer to pray for our nation, to pray for your communities, to pray for the world, that the will of God is going to be done. Guys, it does not matter what anyone does. It doesn't matter what someone is trying to do to stop you from getting the things that you're supposed to get. It does not matter, guys, what some people say, well, you don't qualify for this or you can't get that. God has a final say so. We have to believe no one can stop the will of God. But we cannot be asleep at the wheel. We can't be sleeping. We can't be, oh, well, oh, I hate these people. <laughs> How many of you, be honest, guys, put some hands down in the comments. If you just felt like I am done, I'm tired. I am fit. I don't want to talk to nobody. I want to act up. Just want to just, I don't want to hear. And, or just felt like, oh, I can't stand people. I want to be far away from them. Put that down, guys. Let me see some hand raises on that and just how you've been feeling and how you've been dealing with that. But guys, let's stay prayerful. Let's stay in the position of power. Let's stay in a position of authority. Let's stay in a place, guys, of doing the will of God and doing what it is that he wants us to do. Let us keep on believing what he says and what he desires for us. Let us not get caught up in the in what everybody else is saying and how everything is going. You understand, guys? So anyway, that is all I have for today. I pray that you guys will be encouraged and I pray that you guys will continue to move forward and pray for me because I definitely need it. I definitely, definitely need it. I pray that, hey, I'm asking that you guys pray for me because I have so many things that I am doing so many decisions that I have to make in a in a short small window of time and I want to be able to make the right decisions and praying that God's favor will be in the midst of all things that pertains to me all right guys I'll be putting up that request in about a uh, seven eleven minutes or so all right guys thank you for watching or thank you for listening. And if you just heard my stomach rumble, I'm sorry. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm about to get something to eat. All right, guys. Peace.